Well, good morning, all my beautiful people. I hope you're all having a good day today. Today is a good day. Today's my day off. I'm just enjoying the day. I'm reading a book at the moment, but I'll talk about that later. But today I'm just going to do a quick simple recipe. I love ginger beer. I've been brewing my ginger beer for a little bit now, and this is what it looks like. It's quite fizzy. It has um, sultanas and ginger. I have the recipe on how to make the ginger bug and then how to do like the ginger beer um, ferment like this with the sugar and everything. It's really nice. I would recommend like making your own ginger beer at home. Um, and then you can choose what sugar you add to it. And I'm just going to make a ginger beer float with this ice cream. It is a different flavor. You could just get plain vanilla, but. This is a really fun thing to have as a treat, just like your homemade ginger beer float and all that sort of stuff. So you just put the ice cream in the in the jar and then add them the ginger beer on the top. I mean, who else um, brews their own like ginger beer at home? Would you like buy it from the shops? You buy a a really good brand, nice natural organic one that uses like nice sugar or do you just buy the, the cheap stuff full of sugar and other stuff from like the, um, with the other fizzies because I know there's a few good brands out there that um, brew uh, a really nice style ginger beer but I know that, that um, there's the processed sugar stuff ones at the shop so I would recommend giving brewing your own ginger beer a go. I mean I always remembered as as a childhood so so here we have it. You can use whatever ice cream that you like. This is a coconut based one and this is an amazing treat for everyone to enjoy. You can also do this with kombucha, water cafe and just enjoy like your probiotics and this is full of goodness it's a great treat and so I would recommend making a ginger beer float for your children and also making homemade ginger beer I also want to talk about this book um, the mind gut connection um, how the hidden connect conversation within our bodies impacts our mood our choices and our overall health so if you know anyone that suffers from like stomach issues, um, uh, stress, related stomach issues, depression, all that sort of stuff. Because um, if you have stomach issues, it does actually affect your mood. Like I get, when I get stressed out, it affects my stomach. And I know a lot of people that have stressed out stomachs. And this explains like all the different ways that um, you can get IBS and all that sort of stuff. So I would recommend giving this a read it just um, it's an amazing read and I'll talk about it more in the future but I'm halfway through it and I'm quite amazed at, um, at the amount of research that they've done and if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching